Cheese. The inside of Jennifer Bernal's home is full of smiles and playtime with her wife and two kids. Look at my baby walking. Good job, Mama. It was a different tone back in February. Her wife suffered complications after giving birth to their daughter, and at one point, she was on a ventilator. I was terrified and trying to hold it together, but I had somebody come and, like, bring donated breast milk for my 10-day-old daughter, and she asked me how I was doing, and that was it. I just broke down. Her wife recovered and returned home shortly before the state's stay-home order in March. <laughs> but the experience prompted Bernal to enroll in a trial to test a vaccine developed by Moderna. It's how she could help potential COVID-19 patients from going through what her wife did. And I got to be with her. Her sister got to be with her. And I was reading about all of these people being admitted to the hospital and being alone and the only contact they had was with people in masks and shields on their face and these crazy suits. And it's just, I mean, I was terrified. I can't imagine what those patients are going through right now. She also wanted the immunity to protect her and her family. But the lack of side effects from her injection left her disappointed. There wasn't even a tender arm after like a flu shot. Bernal thinks her painless injection is a sign she got the placebo. Meanwhile, her cousin and fellow trial participant Alicia Martinez experienced a sore shoulder, fatigue, and an itchy underarm. <laughs> I did get worried. I was like, oh my God, am I going to have an itchy armpit forever? Because <laughs> it was like really itchy. And then my arm just like not being able to lift it. She followed Bernal into the study because she, too, wanted protection to help keep her three daughters safe. But a child she once nannied for was also part of her decision. The little girl, Angie, had a condition that made her vulnerable to even a common cold. She died from the mitochondrial syndrome at 19 months old. For her, I wish there would have been a cure for what she had. And so with this, I know there's people who are losing their loved ones. And if I can help somebody else not have to have that kind of pain and stuff, I'm I'm open to doing my part. Martinez's side effects from the trial were brief and among the common reactions reported. But Bernal is convinced it means her cousin got what she calls the good stuff. You know, sometimes you get shots and it gets that hard ball where the shot was injected and I had that too. And so Jen actually measured it out for me. She was like so jealous. She was like, I didn't get a hard ball. <laughs> But it did go away and it was fine. Bernal says there's no hard feelings. Obviously, I really wanted the immunity, but I'm glad for her because she does have three kids. She is a single mom and she needs to be as healthy as possible to take care of her family. But it's unclear when they'll know for sure which dose they each got. Moderna will be the second emergency approved vaccine after Pfizer. Federal regulators must decide if the companies can inform a study's placebo participants and offer them the emergency approved vaccine when eligible. Taryn Mento, KPBS News.